Here I am at Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. At least I think it's a resort and casino, but here's my hotel room. Take a quick little pan around. It's very blue. I think this blue is the color this season. I don't know. It's very waterific, but check out that view. So this is my view. I've got a great view of the, I guess these are the towers. I think that's the other hotel over there because I'm in the Earth Hotel. Maybe that's the Sky Hotel. It's pretty tall. I'm on the 12th floor, and I'm guessing that's a bit higher. Of course, I feel bad for that person that has that one tiny little, like, corner there that's, like, a triangle. Not much room up there, I would imagine. However, it's probably a penthouse and probably takes up most of that space anyways. But look at that view. Gorgeous, gorgeous view. And that's all I asked for was... Give me the highest room you can. Uh, I'm not afraid of heights. And the view's pretty cool. So, every time I've come down here, I really haven't done anything but work, so it's going to be fun. I'm going to walk around the casino and actually see what's here, and you're going to come along with me. All right, I got, I got snacks, my laptop, most important, pork rinds. Can't leave home without pork rinds. They give you water, right? Coming over to here, I've got a refrigerator full of Diet Coke. Look at that. One is just rolling out to come at me. And then there's some kind of like weird mini bar, which we won't touch because I'm sure everything in there costs a fortune. Alright, so we got to finally see the casino. I've actually come down here three times. Every time was just to work. I never once actually, you know, spent much time doing anything at the casino. So this was pretty exciting. I actually walked around. I stopped at a place where the wings were 50 cents and the drafts were two bucks. So I had like a snack around five o'clock. And I just had dinner at this kind of weird sort of club slash astronomical observatory i think it was called like wombi rock or something uh but like i just kind of went in there because it was a cool light show and said you know what i'll sit down have a beer and grab something to eat uh ran into some of my colleagues and they're doing the same uh, but they're eating elsewhere so did i gamble much no i hit a couple of slot machines and played a little bit of blackjack like this much blackjack twenty dollars worth of blackjack at a five dollar table um and lost pretty quick. Um, I only won one hand. So <laughs> so of the five hands I played, I won exactly one. 
Uh, so that did not last very long. <laughs> no, wait, I won two. That was a mistake. Sorry, I won two hands. Um, but uh, overall, I'm very impressed by Mohegan Sun. Like, there's more here than I thought. And I'd been here before. I just didn't... And I walked around. I just didn't really explore and look at stuff. Like, at one point in time, I'm like, am I in a mall? Like, so it's there is a section that's kind of like a mall. It's got stores. It's got a Victoria's Secret. Like... Who goes to a casino is just like, you know, I really need some lingerie. Actually, I do know who goes to a casino and goes, you know what, I need some lingerie. Um, but I didn't meet too many of them today because it's kind of a slow day. It's a Monday. Uh, and then I um, there's a candy store. Actually, I knew about this place called Dylan's Candy Bar. Um, only because I got sugar-free candy the last time I was there. There's a Starbucks open now near where I'm going to be working, which has made me very excited. So I'm definitely going to be hitting that place up for coffee and possibly breakfast tomorrow morning. And then I've got three days of work, and uh, I'm going to be working for Flow Rider, which would be really cool. I found that I am not the lighting designer for Flow Rider, because um, I'm going to be doing the circus acts that come before that, which is kind of a weird specialty of mine in a strange way. Not that I haven't done concert lighting before, and I certainly am the best damn light jockey in Boston, but... Um, I'm going to be doing the circus acts again. So I did that on New Year's Eve, which was really cool. So I'll be doing that again here. Uh, but I won't be doing Flow Rider, which is fine because, uh, you know, I got a lot of other stuff to do and I'm uh, certainly assisting on it. So I can say that I contributed to the lighting. I'm just simply not running the lights for the show, which is good because tomorrow night I can maybe do something else. Now, uh, in terms of, like, what this place has to offer is, like, you could probably come here as a family. They have, like, a kid's arcade that I walk through. Probably should have grabbed some video, but I think as, like, a middle-aged guy walking through, like, a um, kid's place with a camera, I was going to raise some suspicion, so there's no video of that. Uh, and I don't want to be associated with that type of person, so I didn't bring my camera in there. But there's, like, stuff for everybody. And like I said, like... Um, I would argue, though, that, of course, it's it's more of an adult playground. So there's, like, a little bit of stuff for kids, but not much. And uh, I went into, like, a comic store. I got some pictures of Batman and, like, Harley Quinn and Spider-Man. And, uh, you know, overall, it was, like, the atmosphere was much more, um, I guess the term would be subdued than I expected. Because it's not quite as bombastic as Las Vegas, but it has that that vibe to it. And, um, truthfully, they've sort of done the whole earthy Native American thing, which is done a little bit at Foxwoods, but kind of overdone here. So it's like, you know, you have all these, like, um, you know, what appear to be, like, you know, wooden structures and things like that. And there's a wolf on a giant rock, and there's a place called the Wolf's Den. And they name the different casinos, like Sky Casino and Earth Casino, so... All right, so it's day two here at Mohegan Sun. Let's go get a burger. By the way, I did actually gamble yesterday. Just a little bit, though. Like, probably like $40 worth. I played blackjack and actually played for a decent amount of time. But eventually my luck ran out. I was playing $5. So I figure, you know, 20 bucks, four hands. But I won a bunch of times and then lost a bunch of times. <laughs> but I got a system. It's just not a very good one. Alright, so slightly more gambling done. Um, it's like a bad video game that doesn't really go on very long and costs a lot of money and doesn't really give you your money's worth. That's what I think. I had more fun uh, playing blackjack than playing slot machines. But tomorrow's going to be something like around, like, oh, I don't know, 14 hours for work, for the job. So, had to have my fun sometime. And that's it. I'm out of here. Um, it's a really interesting place now that I've actually gotten to check it out. And I did have a lot of fun here, so. Alright, well, I think that's it about my quick little review of Mohegan Sun. Alright. 
Like and subscribe, and we'll see you down the road.